on this piece of lid you need to mark out 30 millimetres, then 30 millimetres, then 50 millimetres, 30 and 30. 50 millimetres is going to be the bridge section that holds your piece. The 30 here and here are going to be the height, so you can change these if you wanted to rise over something larger. So those two give you your height. Those two are your return flanges which give you something to fix to. So they may need to be made larger or smaller depending on the size of your fixings. Darken these lines so you can see. I'm going to move these around. Mark off my centre lines. Then using a combination square on these two sections, I'm going to mark 45 degrees. And then the pieces are going to cut. We're going to remove this section entirely, this V section, this V section, and that attack. Put a piece in the vise so that the blade can slip underneath. Cut your first 30mm flange off. V section out. Move the piece along and do the other two pieces. Mark out your other side, mark out your other side. Put in your 45 degree V sections. Allow the width of the blade and cut.
Once you've completed all your cuts, file all your sharp edges off. Place the piece in the vise, the flanges back, lean towards yourself and hammer to straighten it up, creating a 90 degree bend, do the same with the other side. Now while it's in that position, fold your V towards itself, take the piece out, do the same with the other V, bring it towards yourself, and you have a 30 degree riser. Next up we're going to drill this so it's ready for use, put a punch hole in the centre, and another one. And offer up the piece that you're going to rise. So in this case, let's say it's that part, we'll offer this up and we'll mark three. Hold this tight in the vise. Don't drill this on the bench, you'll damage the bench. And also, when the drill goes through, it will spin round and most likely catch your hands and cut you. I'm using a 6.5mm bit in the top to take 6mm reefing bolts, and I'm using 4.5mm drill for these two to take a wood screw. File off the pieces that you can reach. We'll now use two roofing bolts. Connect this section up. Pass those three. Screw them up as far as you can by hand. And finish with a spanner and screwdriver. And that's that section completed. I'm not going to make three more of these. I've already made one. This is a different colour because it's been sprayed. You don't have to spray it all over like I have. I've just done that because it looks nice. Ideally, you just need to use the spray where you've made cuts, where you've drilled, and any file marks to prevent it from rusting. The spray you would use would be zinc galvanizing spray. There are many different types. It's not too expensive compared to replacing your containment when it goes rusty.